Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create just a basic HTML page. This is something you would want to do if you wanted to start into web design. So there's an editor. You're going to need something to be able to type the code out. And the editor I really recommend and I really like is called Brackets. It's created by Adobe. It's free, which is great. And it's cross-platform, which means it'll work on Macs and PCs and basically anywhere you need it to. So what you'd want to do is go to their website, brackets.io hit download, it will detect what type of computer you're on and then it will just go through the prompts and download it and you'll be ready to go. Uh, once you have that done, this is what it looks like. First time you open it up, it may have some sort of, just a bunch of code in here and it might say index up here. You can just click out of that, just mouse over index and hit the little X next to it. But once you have it installed and you're ready, you can hit file new then that'll bring up the code editor. And then the first thing I'd recommend doing is saving it. So file, save as, and you want to name this something that makes sense, right? Something that would make, so I could say like my first web page. Now what's really important though, is that you have a .html at the end. That's what tells the computer what kind of file it is. So I'll say .html and then, I'll, and then you want to make sure you realize and remember where you save it. I'd probably save it to the desktop or you can save it wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it in this folder here. Now once you saved it, whatever you saved it as will show up right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna start coding. Okay, the first thing you wanna put in an HTML document is the doc type. The doc type is what tells the browser what version of HTML we're using, which is HTML5. And then we're going to throw in an HTML tag. These are called tags. Uh, the tags have less than and greater than signs, and then they have some sort of word or some sort of characters inside of these brackets. Then you always have a closing tag on these, and that just says that, hey, this is where the HTML file ends. Okay, the next tag you would want to have are the head tags, and these are just things that you would put in that kind of go behind the scenes. So the things that go inside the head tag here are not going to be things that you'll actually see on the page. Okay, and then you'll throw in a body tag. Now this is where all the content goes. The pictures, the links, um, everything, the, the images, whatever you throw inside of a web page, whatever you see on a web page goes inside of there. And then a couple more tags here. Uh, put this inside the title tag. We'll show you what that does in a couple seconds. And then... The last one we would want to have to set this up is called a meta tag. Meta tag, it just kind of describes the page and talks about the content. It can refresh the page. It can def define how the page is shown. There's a bunch of different things that meta tags can do. But here to be HTML5 compliant, to make sure the code that we're working or that the code that we're using is actually doing what we should, we use a char set or a character set. And that defines all the different characters that can be used on the web page. And the character set we want to use is UTF-8. Okay, then inside the body tag, I'm just going to type some text. Well, hello, I'm a web page. Okay, and then we'll save it. Now you'll see up here in brackets, when you make changes, you'll have this little gray dot here. That means that you've made changes and you haven't saved it since you've made those changes. And with HTML, you can't see the updates that you've done until you save it. Okay, so once we have this code typed out, we can run it. Now you need to make sure you have Chrome installed. Brackets works with Chrome. If you don't, uh, you can uh, download it here. You can go to google.com slash Chrome, and that will allow you to, oh, not Chromecast. There we go. Uh, and then you can just download it here and, and install it from there. So once you have it done, we'll save it, Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac, and then you click on this button up here, this little lightning bolt, and that will open it up into Chrome, and you'll see what you have. And there's this is what the title tag does. Whatever you put inside the title tag shows up here. And then, of course, there's the content in my body tag. It's a really quick tutorial, and hopefully that'll get you started with HTML. And if you have any questions or you know if you want to learn more, be sure to walk, uh, check out our website here at skillforge.com. We do trainings and all kinds of things web related. Uh, just check out our courses section and sign up. So hope to see you soon. We'll see you.